What's up guys, Tony here from Learn Auto Body and Paint and in this video we're going to talk about air compressors. We had a question from a member and I'm going to go ahead and answer your question um, as long as along with some tips here. So um, Tony, thank you for the heads up. What do you think about this compressor? I'm thinking of picking a pro picking a project in maybe two weeks time and considering neighbors. I want a very silent compressor without others noticing as in Australia environmental protection authorities are very strict about noise especially grumpy neighbors so what's your thoughts so he sent me a picture of this oil free uh, air compressor um, on eBay here so here are things you wanna think about you know what size air compressor do you need okay you can always look to picking a silent one you can also build a box and insulate it if it is a louder air compressor Okay, so 30 liters is pretty small. Um, for the American people watching this video, we can do liters to gallons and we'll show you exactly. 30 liters is a 7.9, a gallon air, air compressor, which is tiny. Okay, um, I would say this is a very, very small air compressor. If you're gonna be spraying maybe motorcycle tanks you'll be fine with this air compressor. Um, but if you want to be painting, you know, a hood of a car, uh, you would want to look for an, a, at least a 30 gallon, which is 113 liter or so. Um, and if you're looking to do a complete car without any issues at all, you'd want to go with at least 227 liters. Okay, so keep this in mind. Okay, at the minimal, you could get away. I've went, I've gotten away with painting a complete car with a 30 gallon, 113 liter air compressor tank. And you're going to want to make sure it pumps out a pretty good amount of CFM, you know, around 15 to 17 CFM, you know, uh, because you need that airflow. Okay, so with the 30 gallon here, you, you could get away with painting a car but you're going to be stretching it because you're going to be playing catch up waiting for your air tank to build up to have enough pressure to paint so just keep things like that in mind I'm going to put a link below this video on YouTube to this blog page here where I cover best 20 and 30 gallon air compressors for auto painting um, we, we have a whole in-depth blog and video that I did um, that explains a lot um, as far as air compressors go and uh, there's also going to be another one what size air compressor do you need to paint a car how to set up your air compressor and there's just so much more resources here on this page so I'm going to make sure to include this link uh, in the link below so uh, consider that you know there's a lot of things you can do to quiet your air compressor if you end up getting a bigger one with more noise you can build a little box around it and insulate it um, even if you just build a wooden box and just put foam insulation around it. it's going to help a lot as far as noise goes um, but it's also good to buy an air compressor that is you know has a low db as well so um, there was one brand in california what brand was it was it california air compressors um let me see here Let me, let me think. I'm just trying to think, guys. Silent air compressor. Um, there was a brand. It's like a California brand. Um... Quincy also makes a silent air compressor, but they're pretty pricey. I think this is... If you just Google around, you can find quiet air compressors, but this one is tiny. Grammarly does more than catch errors. With Grammarly, you can find... We have behind us that he only uses 40 PSI for safety mechanism. Yeah, this is not for painting. Physically, 
push the two together with friction. It works well, it's not working. Here is the brand, California Air Tools. This is it. These guys make a bunch of quiet style air compressors. You may want to check this company out. Uh, this is Brian with Marax Reviews and how additional air compressors. And they do have larger ones. I placed my Blue Yeti microphone about six feet off the floor. Not those guys actually. Uh, may want to look at this video. Hi, my name's Larry and I'm part of the product development team here at California Air Tools. And today So they have a pretty the big air this looks, looks like a twenty five gallon maybe. You can hear it. It's pretty quiet. And that was that one. That's pretty quiet. Wow. So there you go. You might want to look into this unit. I don't know about getting this thing shipped to Australia, though. But uh, you may want to check this product out. All right. So uh, I will actually drop the link below the video as well so you can check this out. And um, I'll drop a link to this resource page on my website where you can learn more about air compressors. So it's Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Uh, thanks for watching this video. It got a little longer because of me trying to search stuff for you guys. But uh, I hope you liked it. Click the like button if you did. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on air compressors. And I'll talk to you soon. Oh, forgot. Um, click the top right of this video here if you want to get a free 85-page auto body and paint manual. It looks just like this for all you DIY guys who want to get into learning how to customize your cars and paint cars and stuff. This is a great guide uh, that goes in-depth on pretty much everything you need to know on how to paint cars and I'm also going to throw in a bonus seven day auto body boot camp video lesson and you're also going to get awesome uh, subscriber uh, specials. Alright, so it's Tony here. Thanks. Comment down below. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you soon.